Okay, so we're here in an older home that has been remodeled and the AC unit is behind that wall right there in the middle of the room. And so it is uh, a little loud and also we have uh, poor airflow throughout the bedrooms. And so now we're time to trying to find a good fix for that. What, what is some typical fixes for this type of scenario? So basically you start with, you, you need better return. You need, you need to more intake so therefore the unit can obviously put out the air to the grills in the in the bedrooms. So closet units traditionally are pretty tough sometimes because you only have a certain amount of area wall space to get a return. And a lot of the closets, sometimes you can put duct up and go around into a room, but in this particular closet, it's not big enough. You don't have room. So basically what you got is this is the existing return here mm -hmm. and this is all they've got which is obviously not enough. So that's what's causing the noise. It's just sucking really hard. Any wall space you can, this, this one particularly, you can you could put one here, cut the hole as big as you can on the surface area, grill, and then off, obviously you can put one on the other side. When it comes to return, you gotta account for wall space opening. And then, you know, there's a rule of thumb, you know, you want inches per, you know, CFM per, ton but you know what you got to count for is this grill also takes some cfm away it, it's eating it up a little bit so we like to go as big as we can because you can't have too much return so what size vent do we have in here right now right now we have a 37 and a half by 14 but as you can see when we take the vent off we lose some of that measurement. So what we would do is we would take the 37 and a half times 14 and multiply it by two and that would give us the CFM that is going into the return. And to calculate how much CFM you need, you take the tonnage of the units, this is a four ton, you multiply it by 144 and then you square root that, and it should give you about 576 per ton. But anyway, so as we have the vent off, you notice that we have lost a little bit of room. Now we're at 35 by 11. So that takes off about 400 CFM from what the grill size is versus the actual hole. Yeah, and then you lose some with the grill too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the grill takes up room, obviously, with the metal and takes away from your return. So how much bigger should this one be roughly? I would say with this hole, we're getting about 780 CFMs and roughly need about, I would say 1600 CFM for this unit, seeing how it is a uh, four ton. Take another grill or a hole like this and then maybe put it on this wall and then also you could do this wall and in the laundry room as well gotcha so we're like at half of what we should be yes <laughs> at best yes <laughs> wow yes. wow okay and so that should in theory uh help with the airflow throughout the house um, and also maybe a little bit of the uh cancellation of the noise awesome awesome <laughs> we'll be trying to work as hard yeah uh, so here's the here's the closet unit that we have and here is our carrier gas furnace and coil uh, we notice on the model number that it is 48 so that we do is 48 divided by 12 and that is giving us a tonnage and so then we think we might be able to put a vent down yes. here as well so yeah for this unit it looks like we would possibly be able to add 30 inches width and 8 inches height so for our CFM for this we would take 8 times 30 times 2 and that equals about 480 extra CFM which we're looking for what we want to add is maybe an extra 800 so we might have to go on this other side of the wall and add another return yeah. over there yeah. as well. This unit may be different than others obviously because it's in a closet pretty tight space but mm -hmm. uh, uh, what about running extra duct work up through like a, another closet or another part of the house to it so like the return or the supply? the return the yeah. return yeah that would be tough to add another return it would mm -hmm. but that's an option for certain people certain people if they have yes we could add another return 
coming in along here along this area if there is more space and then going down to the wall and going up and gotcha. adding on another part of the house okay that is a possibility for some homes and then so typically how how do you just add a vent to it uh to add a vent take the me take the measurements we have a drywall drill that we cut out we mark our hole we mm -hmm. take it out we look for the studs that might be in the way and we get our sawzall and cut it to make it a flush hole and then we frame out what we just cut to mm -hmm. make sure that we're not taking away anything from the structural integrity of what the unit is sitting on and that also gives us some extra wood that we can screw our new vents into. Gotcha. Have to look at this. And then what do we have here if we do another you can actually go to that right here. What are we seeing? 30 by 10? Yep. So, yeah. You can go 36 by 10. All the way over here. Yeah, so over here it looks like we could probably do 36 width by 10 inches height for an extra return. Mm -hmm. That can give you to that extra 720, but again, you got to account for the baffling of the grill. Yeah. It's going to take some out. So, because over there, if we added that, it would give us 480 CFM, and then over here, we get an extra 770. So that equals 1100 extra yeah. added CFM. So you're up to 1800. Yeah, plus the 700 existing. Which would make it way better. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. it, it's going to increase your airflow in the bedrooms, obviously, and it's going to cut out on your noise. Mm -hmm. And you can never, you can't have too much Correct. return here. But that's all you can do in this closet is mm -hmm. just go on every angle. I mean, you could even go as far as put a louver in this door and put a drill back here, but I don't know how much you're going to get extra yeah. of that just because it's not that big a space. But I guess if you had to, but in this scenario, it looks like we'll be able to get enough square inches without having to do that. We should yeah. get there, yep. I'm, I mean, I'm just thinking out loud yeah. here. Yeah, so you're talking about. I mean, I'm not saying we want to do this, but you were talking about a duct. If if they if they brought in somebody to frame this out and turn it into a chase and put drywall right here, that would be a lot more volume, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, if they, you did they that, connect a duct up at the top, then but, you could fit a you know. I mean, I'm saying if that's something that mm -hmm. she was interested in, we could talk about. I want to do some more measuring here, but because it may not be worth it, the small you know small as you're getting there. Yeah, it looks like we'd probably only be able to maybe do a nine inch. Well, you could do metal duct though, and you could make it longer and shorter. Yeah. So you could get like a twenty Wider. by twenty yeah. by nine. Oh, I didn't even think of metal duct. Yeah. You know, Daniel just make a. Yeah, we got twenty four inches width over here. So yeah, twenty four by nine. Twenty four by nine. Mm-hmm. Just saying that that could be an option. Just obviously it gets expensive mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Which yeah, so you could take that up and around, and then put it into the master bedroom, and that would definitely help the circulation in there particular in that room but gotcha and it also helped with the noise and stuff but again like lucas said the price goes up from doing metal custom metal ductwork yeah, sure. around compared to just cutting a hole in the sheetrock and putting a grill there gotcha yeah i would almost i don't want to do some more calculations but if we really were going to do that i'd almost not want to put these in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that way you know you're drawing air from the bedrooms rather than from here Yep. It comes down for bang for your buck. And like I said, it's, you know, every homeowner is different, but most of the time they're wanting to save a little money and make mm -hmm. it work. So, you yeah. know, the duck work, if you're doing like a custom home or it's like open where you don't have sheetrock and you're not cutting holes and stuff like that, it's probably beneficial to do the duck work over and, and spread the air mm -hmm. out. But in this case, you know, I think going with the grills and the wall is probably the way to go okay. at the end of the day for the customer's sake. Yeah. 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 I think either way for some great video content. <laughs> okay. Do you want to check it out up there? Yeah, I'll take it with me. Sometimes in these houses you have to go places you don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But part of the job. Yeah. Luckily not this is some of the better insulation. Yeah, that does look terrible. Can you see anything in there? Yeah, I do see the plenum. Man, HVAC techs are heroes. 
<laughs> a long run. Oh. So how much room is above it? It's it's pretty. It's a lot. There is a lot of room. Yeah. Uh, above it, it goes all the way to the peak, probably about 12 feet, and then it slopes down to where it's about six inches off the plenum. Oh god, <laughs> that's skinny man's job. Look, look at that. Gosh, what a hero. Just his feet hanging out. <laughs> oh my god. And he's gone. Oh look, we can actually see something. Oh yeah, here we come. <laughs> that is a dirty job. <clears throat> hey, did uh, Mike Rowe ever do dirty jobs as uh, HVAC tech? You know, in the dirty job Man, show? Man, that was about to be my comment. <laughs> say, where's, where's Mike Rowe when you need him? Right? But yeah, sometimes we have to go places we don't want to go, but we do it for the better of the customer. Right? Because at San Marcos Air, we do more because we care. <laughs> Amazing. Obviously. Okay. So this house has two small of return registers and we were looking at different options. What do you think the best option for this house is? I think for sure it's going to just be add a couple of grills, one on that front side of the unit and one on the back side mm -hmm. to increase and that's basically all you can do yeah. for this particular setup just because there's lack of room. But yeah. it'll get you there with the, with the extra yeah. return. One, one of the options would be is to if you have room to run ductwork up in there but it doesn't look like in this house we have that room in the attic. so. Correct. Yeah, you can run it up in, in inside the closet, up mm -hmm. through the attic, around to whatever room you want it in, mm -hmm. um, if you have the space, which gotcha. here we don't. Yeah, and what's the advantages of having more uh, return? Uh, number one is noise. It mm -hmm. cuts down on the noise. It will run quieter. The unit will run more efficient and obviously increase airflow throughout the home. Do you see this just in older homes? We see it everywhere. We yeah. see it in new homes too, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, basically it's like it, you're the more return helps the system breathe yeah like if i lost weight and cut this out a little <laughs> bit i'd breathe better <laughs> yeah the same thing <laughs> awesome thanks guys uh we do more because we care right we do. we do we do we do more because we care yes love you rick bye <laughs>